the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 328, 1 Corinthians 5-8 Divisions between the church members Paul advised the Corinthians church to cut off habitual evil in their community and to establish a loving relationship with their neighbors. First point, Paul taught the Corinthians church about the problem of immorality. Paul now spoke of a different problem that the Corinthians church had. This was none other than immorality. Immorality itself was a problem, but the fact that they did not regard this as a problem was the reason Paul rebuked them. Regarding the problems that may occur within the church, Jesus taught them in three stages. The first was to meet one to one. The second was to repent before two or three witnesses. The third was to advise the person to repent, and in the case that they did not, they were to be dismissed within the community. Paul rebuked them for not following these three steps to those who had fallen into immorality. He then told them to repent and be saved. Paul reminded them of how they had misunderstood Paul's teachings in the past. In the past, when Paul taught them not to be prant, those who committed adultery, they had interpreted this the way they wanted. Thus, they would leave the judgment about those people to God. However, as the church was established through the price of Jesus' blood, it was not an easy matter to cast out a member of the church. Paul therefore advised to stay away from those people. The body will decay after death, but the spirit lives on. So it is vitally important to make an environment whereby people will repent and be saved. It is thus important to help people repent and to start again. Second point. Paul taught about trial between the church members. Continuing on, Paul taught about the issue of trial between the church members. The first advice was to take on damages for giving. The second was that if the person who did wrong refused to apologize or repent, they would not be able to enter the kingdom of God. The church was to be the place where righteousness was carried out. It was furthermore the responsibility of the church to make sure that righteousness was carried out outside the church. However, problems occurred within the Corinthian church, which they were unable to sort out among themselves. When Paul heard this, he rebuked them and then taught them how to carry out a righteous and fair trial between them. Third point, Paul taught the Corinthians church that their bodies were God's possession. Paul rebuked the Corinthians church for being immoral in their hearts. He rebuked them for doing what Christians were not to do. As Paul had already taught the Corinthians church, their bodies were the temple of Christ, having been saved through Jesus' blood. Thus, it was their role to glorify Jesus. Paul then told them to never act immorally again. Being located near the port, Corinth was an area exposed to all sorts of immoral acts. In this place, some had taken in Jesus' gospel, but there were those who could not stop their old habits. Therefore, Paul taught them the meaning of their bodies and how they symbolized Jesus' blood. In other words, our bodies do not belong to us, but belong to God, and we must live to glorify Him. Fourth point, Paul told the Corinthians church that marriage should be considered with care and advised them accordingly. 
Paul's answer regarding marriage was that it was something one could choose to do or not do. One could serve God either through their marriage or by oneself. However, if one chose to get married, Paul taught that they had a responsibility towards each other. Regarding marriage, Paul said that it was fine to live by oneself. He also said that if one decided to get married, they were to be respectable and responsible in their positions. To those who were not married or widowed, Paul recommended living alone. As for those who married within the church, Paul banned divorce. Also, if one married a non-believer, they were not to divorce them, as they were to open up the chances of them accepting the gospel. In terms of the customs for living as a Christian, Paul explained that it did not matter much whether one was circumcised or not. What really mattered was that they were Christian. Also, whether one was a free man or a slave, the most important thing was that they were Christian. Fifth point, as a solution to eating food offered to idols, Paul provided the answer of love. Paul answered the questions the Corinthian church had concerning food offered to idols. Surprisingly, Paul had a simple answer, and this was love. When it came to the church, the solutions were in love rather than knowledge. Even if the food was for the idols, as God had made those foods in the first place, it was not contaminated. To clarify, Paul taught that idols were nothing. Second, he taught that it was normal to be free in the food choice. However, that choice was not to be forced on other brothers or sisters. Paul warned that people should not commit the sin of eating food served to idols. That would falter the faith of new believers for love of them. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.